Hey, what's up? So, I'm going to share my Poshmark page. So, check it out. I have a couple eBay pages, but I'll link the Poshmark and the one of the eBay pages in the description. That way, you, if you're an international viewer, you could go to the eBay because Poshmark doesn't ship international. But so if you ever thought about supporting the channel, I've had a few people reach out to support monetary um to provide monetary support in the past but i just told them no it's okay keep keep the money keep your money but so if you ever did want to support here's a great way to do it through the poshmark so there's tons of different items on here i'm having a hard time selling on poshmark and it's not because the items are bad or anything it's because of um it's just because of uh the way poshmark is set up they want you to subscribe to one of those um companies that provide a bot to run your profile page so you pay like 30 bucks a month and the bot will run your page and i'll probably have to eventually do it to move a lot of the product that i have but um, as for now, um, I'm happy with the results with Poshmark, and the only thing that sucks is I'll I'll get a lot of nice clothing that doesn't sell because there's no views on it. So if you if you thought about supporting or if you just want a good deal, I have a lot of great deals on items. Um, I offer a lot of items for a great a great price. Um, ten dollar t-shirts um, fourteen to ten dollar um, athletic clothing so even if you need like a gift for a family member you could check the page out I actually have really low prices compared to other people um, so like for instance like these Golden State are these Laker shirts like they've been on the page forever and they're really nice shirts I when I go to the store I only select like the really nice stuff or like I have this um, brand new Michael Kors shirt that I found or women's I have really nice women's stuff but it just unfortunately nobody's seeing the product it's a very low amount of people are seeing the product so I have this um, $98 shirt, brand new shirt, and it's listed for $34. So, um, I don't, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to stop buying clothing because I can't store any more of it. And I have to make a decision. Do I buy the stuff that sells or do I keep buying brand new clothing? I want to keep buying brand new clothing because I don't want it to... I mean, if it's like, why would I pass the shirt like this up, right? When I see the tag for $98. So um, maybe you have a gift to buy for family members. Maybe it's your mother's birthday. This is a great way for you to save money and buy high quality items. Um, a lot of people on Poshmark, they charge a really high fee. Um, are, are they? Their items are expensive. My items aren't. So... Um, I make it a point to certain things I ask I get I ask market value but many of the common items um, I just I list it low I list it low cuz uh, I want to move the product and at this point it's just not moving at the pace that I need it to move so um, check out the page I'll link the discord also in the description cuz I'm gonna try to use the discord a little more and um i am on the computer like all day long because of the reselling but uh pri priority wise i have to do the work because not only is it 
not only have I been highly successful, it's really fun to do as well. So, like yesterday, I picked up this. So, I'm going to try to use the Discord. Um... A little, I haven't used it for a long time, but we did that video yesterday where we did the vi um, Discord. So if me and me and Mike are doing the, if we're doing the live show, then I'll be more interactive on the Discord. And I know there's several people on Discord. A lot of people are using it now. So, um, but like yesterday, I found this um, Ember coffee mug in the thrift store. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but Ember coffee mugs are pretty expensive. It's like bra brand new. I'm keeping it for myself. I'm actually using it right now. It's pretty It's pretty awesome or perfect for me. So, so my eBay is going to be more for items like this. And then my Poshmark is more for clothing. But um, I get high quality items. So if you guys even are just looking for yourself um, check it out um, again you could buy somebody a t-shirt for ten dollars plus shipping on Poshmark so you're gonna buy somebody a twenty dollar gift anyways um, where, where is it at? <laughs> the best thing to do on Poshmark is to bundle so I don't know if you've shopped on Poshmark, but if you're going to the mall and you're buying your stuff from the store, you're doing it wrong because you're going to save a lot of money shopping on um, through the internet. And it's not all secondhand. Like you've seen, I have brand new boxes of Legos. Um, a lot of the things I buy, I, they're like unused. And uh, obviously if the clothing is new with tags, I'll find shoe, pairs of shoes that are basically unused. Um, two hundred dollar, two hundred dollar pairs of shoes that aren't even used. Um, but the best thing to do is bundle. So, for instance, what you would do is, um, if you like, if you had a somebody who liked Legos, you get three or four Legos from somebody, and you put them in your bundle, send them an offer for what you want to pay, and a lot of times they'll accept what you what you what your offer is so instead of paying the uh, eight ninety nine or seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine shipping whatever it is now um, you'll save if you get four items you'll save all that shipping so you'll save like twenty dollars in shipping and then they'll give you a discount on top of the item so that's what's so great about Poshmark is that you get the items for a good deal and both buyer and seller could be happy with the purchase and not only does the seller save a lot of money but the buyer gets to move several products at once so that's why I like even though Poshmark is my lowest selling platform I use eBay Macari and Poshmark Poshmark they are all I like them all I like I like when my products sell on any platform but I like Poshmark, the idea of Poshmark, although the military hasn't allowed my Poshmark to take off. But I think a lot of that has to do with people aren't seeing the product because I don't pay for the bot subscription. So the big downside to the all these platforms is that eBay and Macari, basically, the more you pay, the more they'll sell for you, which is bullshit because in a real business world, it shouldn't be that way, right? what they teach you in school is that whoever whoever has the best business the best product the best practice the best prices best customer service whoever's overall the best rating right those are the people that should have the most sales well on Poshmark I almost have a perfect rating but my sales are low and the only reason why my rating isn't a perfect five is because a couple people just have issues like the guy the guy gave me a one-star rating and um, he just he just wasn't happy with it was his mistake on the purchase and he was mad at me for it and I'm just like I even told the customer I said you could return the item if you want he's like no I'm just gonna keep it I'm like well and I didn't even I don't even argue with these people but I'm like why would you keep the item if you're not 
if it's completely the wrong size. And he tried to blame me, and I'm like, the size is in the, the description. I'm like, send it back. I'll gladly accept the return. Oh, no, I'm just going to keep it. So he gave me a one-star review, and I'm like, uh, it's probably the military, or it's probably a guy under mind control. I'm not worried about it. Like, go ahead and do your one-star review. I'm not. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not going to be bothered by it. But other than a couple silly reviews. So it just, it's it's not, uh, it doesn't make sense. Uh, there's no, there's no, there's no real business logic to the success on Poshmark. A lot of the people who are having success, they're just, uh, like their stores are subpar. Their research on the product is subpar. And the prices are high. So I've ordered a few things off of Poshmark. And I'll get it to resell. Because if they have like a, a $60 jersey for $5. I'm going to buy it and put it on eBay. But what happens a lot of time is when I get the product. There's damage to it that isn't mentioned in the post. Like it'll be dirty. There'll be a stain on it. And I'm like, come on, how are... And then I'll go to their profile and they have 500 or 1,000 sales and their rating is all high. And I'm like, how is this person having so much success? They can't even clean the... Like, if the item isn't cleaned, I'll let you know. If there's damage with the item, I'll tell you about it. I don't just fucking send it off and pretend like I don't know. Like, if the shirt is missing several buttons, I'm going to say the shirt doesn't have several buttons. Because I'll let you know, hey, I don't have time to put buttons on the shirt. You could repair it and you could get a great deal. So you'll get the shirt you want for 60% um, less than what you would have paid. And you just got to put a couple buttons on it. And if you and that's like anyone could learn that on YouTube really fast. So, But these people, they won't say that. They'll just send you the shirt. Oh, I didn't know it was missing two buttons. You're like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, you're just fucking just... Like, that's not how business is supposed to go. So, unfortunately... And then Macari is, like, the whole... There's a whole other story about Macari. I'm just being censored on Macari. As simple as that. Because when I first started, I was making, like, $500 a month on Macari. And now I'm down to making, like, $200 a month. And it's been like that for several months. Just one day, just something clicked and all the sales disappeared. So, um... Yeah, anyways, um, I'm not getting the success that I probably deserve on Poshmark, but I'm used to that. I'm used to the government or uh, the military messing with me my whole life. But here, here's your opportunity to, to maybe if you maybe if you were never into the second hand. I, I don't like to call it second hand because not everything's second hand. And some of it is so like these pink vans right here. They're unused. They're they're unused. But I'm not gonna call them new. But they're basically, they're brand fucking new shoes. Um, or like this um, mini uh, straightener. This mini straightener is brand new. So I could call that one new because it's not open. But So um, maybe some of you people are hesitant to buy secondhand. Because I know my nephew, I was show. I had a $50, $60 jersey in, that I bought yesterday. And I showed him and he's like, oh, could I have that? And I'm like, well... I'm going to lose like $40 in sales, but yeah, here you go. I'll sell it to you for, he's like, give it to me for 15 bucks. And I'm like, I'll give it to you for 10 since you're my nephew, but I'm not, I'm already losing a lot of money. So then I give it to him. I go, well, I'll try it on real quick. I want to make sure it fits. Cause I, I wanted to make sure my nephew didn't take his shirt, the shirt and just hang it in his closet and forget about it. Cause I said, if you're going to, if you're not going to wear it, just let text me and I'll come give you your ten dollars back and i i can make fifty dollars off it or forty dollars off this jersey that's like a pretty big sale because so i went to the thrift store yesterday and i've been trying to stay out of the thrift stores because i have a lot of product to list but i would basically i couldn't do my yard sale today that's why i'm on here i wouldn't i would have not done my video last night but the weather's really bad so i had to cancel the yard sale um, the weather was actually very nice in the yesterday, and then it just, with the chemtrails and all that, and the weather modification, the weather just switched right away in the middle of the day, and now it's fucking the weather's terrible out there. So that's why I'm actually even doing the vid the last couple videos. I've been really busy. So again, if if people want to contact, 
I'll try to be on the Discord a little more, but um, um, as far as personal contact through the apps, uh, through eBay and stuff, I'm not going to... I'm just going to let you guys know on there. Like, don't contact me on there. I don't even have time to, to have chit-chat on there anyway. So, it, it, people may be like, well, you do hour-long videos. When I do the video, that's the time for me to chit-chat. Any other time in the day, I just don't have time to, to chit-chat. But I'll try to keep the Discord on if I'm on my computer. And not many people are on there anymore because um, I never used it. But, um... Yeah, so anyway, uh, here's your way to help support if you wanted to help support. And not only that, you could buy somebody a gift for a great price. Um, you just got to get over the hurdle. What I was saying with my nephew, I told him to try on the shirt. And he didn't... I always jump all over the place, right? So my nephew, he, he didn't want to try on the shirt that I just sold him that he wanted. He goes, oh, no, I'm not going to put it on. I got to wash it first. I'm like, serious, dude? Like, look at the jersey. It's in, like, you don't probably won't even need to wash it. You could wear it like that. It smells perfectly fine. A lot of people, if they donate their items, especially, like, in people in, in um, not always, because at my job, there was a couple times that some stuff came in that smelled so bad. And I'm like, why would you have such dirty bags of clothing? That rare. So I worked at the Goodwill, people, like, you rarely get items in that aren't even, um, that aren't up to par to sell it. I mean, you get a lot of them, but they're like, typically someone will, someone will bring a bag in of stuff and the whole bag isn't worth selling. So there will, um, what will happen is they process all the items in the warehouse and they'll they'll take if something has like a bunch of armpit stains obviously they'll take it out they don't list it for sale but that there's not a ton of stuff like that but normally you'll get a whole bag full like the one customer or the one person who donated they're just dickheads and they gave you a whole bag of trashy stuff and then it's like really this needs to go in the dumpster why would you give it to the goodwill so I just so if you could get over that hurdle of thinking that oh I'm not gonna wear somebody else's trashy item you could pick up um, high quality items and I may not have the brands that you that you prefer to wear um, but look on Poshmark you'll be surprised um, it's a it's clothing is a over um, saturated category so it's hard to sell in there anyways but if I don't have any product or your size because when you don't have 10,000 items, sometimes you don't have the proper size, you know. I only have a certain amount of shoes, so I may not have your shoe size, for instance. Um, typically, like, if it's if it's a common size, it's very hard to find in the thrift store. Um, but, yeah, get over the hurdle of the idea that you're wearing. Like, this Vans, this black Vans shirt, it's, like, brand new. Whoever owned this black van shirt, they may have never worn it, or they literally probably worn it one time. Um, you could just throw it on, and you don't even have to wash it. Like I would. But in general, you'd probably want to wash everything you get. Um, just look it over. You could tell when a shirt is like new, right? You could tell if a shirt's been washed a couple times, or if. Um, maybe there's a slight dinginess to the smell, so you probably uh, would want to wash it. Like these sports bras, for instance, they don't sell because there's so many of them and I have them super low. Um, but you would want to wash the sports bras, even though there's, they don't smell, there's no staining or anything to them. Or like those women, these women's foot joy golf shoes. They're like, they're not even used. I'm not going to call them new, but they're not even used. They're slightly, they may have been worn a couple times. So yeah, browse, uh, check it out. If You know, that's the crazy thing. I missed out for a long time on secondhand, uh, not only selling, but just shopping. Like I don't buy anything for myself because it's just too expensive and I can't afford to go to the mall 
and buy a $50 pair of jeans and a, a $30 shirt. I can't afford that. Like, so, um, I, I could, I probably should shop a little more on Poshmark just to buy a wardrobe for myself. But the only thing that's kind of holding me back, well, I, for one, I don't have time. But for two is like, I don't know, like people generally, um, in general, you know how a brand fits on you. And since I haven't been involved with branding for a long time, <clears throat> I don't have a select group of clothing that I know I like the way it fits and looks on me and feels. Typically you want, when you shop, when you become an experience, we all shop, but with clothing, you want to narrow down a few brands that you like the fit, you like the quality, um, and you like the way, you know, you, you um, and maybe you like the, the design or maybe the way you like how you look in a certain with a certain branding. So what you at, at a certain point, you want to narrow down several brands because you, you're comfortable. That's at least how as a man, I don't know. I, with the woman's side is crazy because, like I said, they're just listing a bunch of no name brands and then. I would imagine a lot of, I think I feel like a couple times women bought items from me and it didn't work for them, but they don't return it. So I, I would imagine I've bought several shirts that I never even took the tag off because, and this is in person, because I didn't like the way it fit or I didn't eventually like, I bought it because it was on sale and then I didn't like the way it looked. I, I would imagine, obviously women have a bigger issue with that. So where whereas men have maybe five or ten percent of their wardrobe that maybe they never even tried on, women probably have a, a higher. Well, there's there's a I have a whole drawer full of, of shirts that I don't wear because it's just like they don't go with anything. Because you got to have several pairs of shoes. So, but I would imagine women have a lot more uh, stuff they don't don't even it doesn't work out for them. So it's surprising to me that they would they would uh that they would spend so much time uh or I mean that they would buy items that are are not name brand and continue to do that. So yeah, get over the hurdle of uh, you think you're wearing somebody's trash because you never know what treasures you'll find. All right, check it out. I'll link the uh, the pages in the uh, description.